Tesla is preparing to launch its new autopilot hardware 4.0. Look at that. Look at that little board. That's cool. Don't eh? you want one of those, the Tesla chips right on there? Yeah. Oh, baby. It's making me. I just want to hold it. I, I want it in my pocket. I think Tesla should just, I want a GPU from Tesla. Yeah. You understand? No, I got, that's not happening anytime soon, but autopilot hardware 4.0 is happening sometime soon, and we're all going to feel left out because guess what? Elon stated no retrofit capability. He's like, nah, we don't, we're not really interested in that. We're just going to roll. We're just going to get this sick new hardware for yeah. new customers. Forget about those old. You can't. We're going to swap it in there. Well, maybe they can't. There have been quite a few indications that major hardware changes are coming. In December, Tesla pl- uh, st- said they're planning to add uh new sensors as soon as this month we talk about those new sensors previously additionally uh tesla model 3 prototype that potentially featured the new self-driving hardware suite was spotted and then a report coming out of china showed that tesla applied with regulators for modifications to its uh, vehicles including new autopilot cameras i think it was higher resolution cameras was the uh, rumor it's going to see better Tesla Forum TFF has a tracker that allows you to see all the changes that are coming. So here we go. We got a nice little list. Generation 4 complex vehicle control system, also known as autopilot. New car, computer, and GNSS antenna. Introduction of Gen 3 inverters to drive units. Change to automatic dipped and main beam sensor. Unification of Model X brake system application. Introduction of a new state arm for the Model X interior rear view mirror, update to the manufacturer's engine code, update to the vehicle's rear badging, of which there's a visual of how it's a subtle change to the rear, mm. and update to the vehicle's maximum speed, which I didn't know this because I don't drive like a complete psychopath or take my plaid on the track, but the plaid has never reached via a software limit. It's never reached its top speed, mm. except for those that actually hacked their vehicle to bypass that governing limit inside the software. And the reason for that, Will, is something I've talked about extensively on this show. The reason is brakes. You can't have those little steel brakes in there, right? You can't have, you can't stop a car with that weight at that speed in a responsible fashion with those brakes. So supposedly when the carbon ceramic brake option actually became available, and it is on their site, but it's never been available. They're like coming soon or not available or whatever it is that they say. Then with those installed, it would unlock this top speed. And here, here now they're saying early 2023 uh, for the release of this much better brake system for your Plaid. But in the meantime, some people have hacked it. They've, of course, gone to the top speed, and they probably haven't slammed on the current brake system. By the way, this car ceramic brake kit, 20 grand. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 grand for your brakes. So if for those that are unfamiliar with carbon ceramic brake systems, they cost a little bit. Uh-huh. And you probably don't need to be traveling at top speed anyway, I'm just going to say. But who knows? Hey, you go to the track. You do, you, do your, you do your things on the closed circuit mm. or the Autobahn or whatever. Yeah. 